start talking about anything. We'll talk about the coverage at Texas A&M and the penalty. How much grief have you gotten from your teammates about it? Oh, I mean, they all um, actually was like congratulating me because I was put in a very tough situation. Um, I was actually put in to rush the quarterback, but the play we had, I was supposed to cover the running back. And usually a running back just goes out to the side, but this running back, he went straight up the field. So it was a pretty tough situation. And I was told I was covering him pretty well, but it was a bad throwing ball. So, I mean, it's, um, people like Cleveland, he would mess with me and tell me that it was bad coverage, but it's actually good. Take us through your, uh, your first career sack on Saturday and how good did that feel? It felt great. Um, it actually felt in slow motion, like, it took me forever to get to him, and, and it took me forever to get him down, but it felt great. And then celebrating with my teammates. How much more comfortable is he now after week three than you were? Oh, a lot more comfortable, a lot more comfortable. Ever since I got in and Furman game, just to get out there and, and get my feet wet and just to get comfortable going out there in front of all those fans and just um, relate myself to the game and how fast it goes. Have you met your expectations, kind of for what you were open for the first three? I would say yes. I, I'm, I've had a couple more expectations. So I want to get more, like, make more plays. But, I mean, you got to go with whatever goes on. The game is obviously so much faster in college, but you were double teamed so much in, in high school. Has it been different in that regard for you? Yeah, it's been a lot different because everybody on our D-line is has to be blocked. So they can't really single out a person because one person will be free. So it's been great um, getting one-on-one -on -one matchups from high school. What's it like trying to break in behind so many experienced, talented guys up here at Clemson? Is it, is it difficult to kind of find a spot for yourself at times? I wouldn't say difficult. I knew what I was getting myself into when I was coming here, um, learning behind these experienced guys and veteran guys like Cleveland and Austin. And it's been great. I've basically been like a sponge to them and just learning everything, like techniques and the plays and stuff, because it's a very tough defense to learn. So it was just, I was basically being a sponge to them and learning from them. Oh, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. These, to be honest, we run like an NFL defense, so it's a lot of different plays, a lot of different things we have to know about the running backs, the tight ends, the tackles. There's a lot of different things you have to know. So it's very difficult, but it's been coming very um, easier than I thought it would be I mean, learning from guys like Cleveland and Austin. You've done it twice already since getting to Clemson, but did you have much experience uh, playing against triple option offense before you got here? No, I haven't. And this is, these are my first triple option teams. I mean, we played against some teams that ran an option or something like that in high school, but not a uh, complex triple option team like that we have been playing. And I guess the last team, triple option team we were playing is Georgia Tech. And I guess going off of that, how much more confident do you feel going against the option attack given your experience this year? Oh, a lot more because we've been playing against, played against two triple option teams already and we got basically got the base down on what, we, what our job is to do. Everybody has to do their job. So it's been coming pretty easy. Players say you don't take plays off. Venable says the same thing. Where does that, that come from? Where does that drive and that desire start? This is come. I, I've always been doing that. I have, I've based myself off a of high motor every play, and I just always got to get to the ball every play. So it's just I give my all every single play. What are the older players doing to help you come along? Just to keep me grounded and just to let me know that everybody has to pay their dues and um, wait their turns and that they all went through it. So I have to go through it also and just every, learn everything and get my techniques down because I'm a very talented player, as they say. And I just have to learn the techniques and the base of how to do things. How's your mom adjusting to wear on? <laughs> She's adjusted pretty well. I mean, she was um, she was from Gainesville, Florida, so she was a Florida fan. But she's, she's loving it here. I've been told that they're 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 basically one of the best trip option teams we'll play because of the um, offensive line they'll cut block you they're really good at cut blocking so we have to get the basic techniques of how to defeat the te um, cut block so it'll be my first time going against a complex O line like the cut block like that. Going back to those older players, is there one of them in specific that has maybe really taken you under their wings? I would say Cleveland, Cleveland at the most. He's he's been taking me. We watch film together. He. There's been times on the weekends we come here and get work done, work in privately about how to play the four-eye technique and things like that. So I would thank him. I learned the most from him.